internet, good morning, my name is Magnitude, welcome to another of my Wi-Fi battles here, we have a battle against John, I don't even want to try to pronounce the name on Twitter because frankly I don't want to embarrass myself and I do that on enough on a regular basis, so let's just skip that part and get to the match, actually, if you could please leave a like if you enjoyed it, I'll be shooting for 250 likes on my Wi-Fi videos, we're coming down guys, Pokemon Omega Ruby Ever Sapphire, We'll be here before you know it, so we're not going to have much X and Y left. Cherish it while you can, or you might miss it, I don't know. But I've got a, a new team here, I've been using this all week. we got uh, Infernape, Mega Venusaur, we got Gliscor, we got uh, Greninja, we got Gudra, and we got uh, Raikou. we got a lot of special attackers. Uh, I haven't really seen, uh, I, when I, usually when I play against people, uh, I, I don't really see a, a big special, you know, big special sponges around anymore. Uh, so I'll kind of try to take advantage of that, but uh, I leave with a Fernape. I have a Focus Sash, and I know I'm going to be outspeeding him, because uh, he's not going to be, you know, the first turn, because he's not Mega yet, but uh, I'm just going to, I do have a Sash, so I'm going to go for a Flare Blitz. He's actually then going to predict me to switch, or go for, he goes for Hidden Bar Ice, I believe, predicting me to predict a Thunderbolt. Now, I should have taken that in consideration, the fact he's predicting so early, but I've been getting a lot of flack for playing, you know, taking too many risks. So I'm trying to keep that down. I go for a U-turn, and actually, we're gonna take a risk this very turn. I go into my Gudra or my Raikou, sorry, uh, and I kind of like, you know what? I, I I don't see him switching out. I mean, he might. Uh, I think the Thunderbolt is really obvious, but I'm gonna go for it anyway. It's the risk isn't this turn. I apologize. Uh, and he goes into his his Manetric, and uh, he's, I'm just gonna be able to hit him with a a Thunderbolt. And based on the fact that I outspeed him with Infernape, I'm pretty confident in the fact that I can outspeed him with uh, Raikou. Then I'm like, oh wait a minute, no, I can't. Uh, he's Megas, but I, I don't take that much damage, I left those anyway. I end up taking out the Mega Manetric, so that's great news, we get the giant electric dog out of the way. He can no longer shock us with his performance this battle. <laughs> oh, validate me. Go for a Thunderbolt, I kind of assumed he would be, uh, he would just go for a U-turn, and I, I knew I was gonna die, but I just, that's something I really wanted to get damage on. Because I didn't feel like I had any real answers for that. Uh, so if I can get a lot of damage on that, then he'll not want to stay in. Uh, he'll, then if I can get a lot of damage on that, he'll play safe with that. I predict him to pre to go in his scissor on my on a sludge wave, on a predicted sludge wave, but he does not. He uh, actually just stays in, and that was the worst thing ever. So now I go for a sludge wave. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm gonna go take it out for sure. But no, that's the power of a salt vest, uh, Azumarill. Now I real I didn't I thought he was choice bandit. So I'm like, yeah, okay, I'll speed him. Nope. The Aqua Jet tells me he's definitely a Salt Vest, that was a bummer, I haven't seen the Salt Vest Zoomerill, but that was the power, I didn't even do damage, I just assumed, oh yeah, it wasn't a stab, yeah, yeah, Zoomerill's kind of bulky, sort of, that's, that's an accurate amount of damage. So I actually predicted him to switch, and I go for a growth here, and uh, I know I can outspeed his scissor if he wants to go for ball punch, it's fine, whatever, I don't care, but uh, I'm actually banking on the fact he's going to predict me to switch again, so I'm just going to stand and go for a hidden power, uh, that's the growth that happened the turn prior. So, I'm not too concerned about him doing damage, so I go for Hidden Power, and I take out the Scizor, and I kind of want to keep his Venusaur around for that Milotic, like, actually, I have a lot of stuff for Milotic, uh, I'm, that's, it's not a big issue, but he goes in this thing, uh, I kind of just go into Infernape, I, I didn't have any special sponges, I was talking about that before the battle, I haven't seen a lot of them, uh, uh, you know, other than, of course, I, I've seen, like, Mega Venusaur a lot, but I don't, uh, I, that's, yeah, I guess, you know what, I guess that counts, but I had Infernape, so I wasn't too concerned, you know what I mean? So I go to Greninja now, and I, I think for a while, and I want to, I want to go for Dark Pulse. Yeah, I think Dark Pulse saves us. He goes on my Lodex, he goes on the Gliscor. Now, Gliscor here is surprising me. I, I, I'm aware of his, he doesn't have that good a special defense. Uh, but he took that fairly well, less than half. I really thought I was going to do more than that, pushing some stab. I really got to get out of the habit of using max speed Scarf Greninja, but I love it so much. I'm afraid I'm going to run into, like, uh, I don't know why. Uh, actually, you know what? Because, uh... Uh, Deoxys, I keep, see, I'm still in GBA mode. Deoxys speed isn't even a, isn't even around anymore. I predicted him to switch again. Uh, not the case. That's why I go for a uh, sludge bomb. But I have to switch out now. So I don't have to do this. Let's go to Greninja. I can live whatever he wants to hit me with. And he just goes for a knockoff. It's fine. I lost the scarf. That happens. So obviously I'm no longer scarf. But here we are. So uh, going into clamps. Uh, then he goes into the awfully, awfully named. Melodic named after my ex-girlfriend. That's low, man. That's so low. And now he's gonna wall me with it. That's just not fair. This shouldn't be how life works. Uh, I can't escape her, man, no matter where I am. But whatever. Going into Venusaur. Take an Ice Beam. I know I got thick fat to live that. That ain't no problem for me. And I can threaten him out with a Giga Drain. If only I had Hidden Power Ice. Well, to be honest, if I had Hidden Power Ice, I'd, I'd probably still have taken out Scizor. 
Wish I had Hidden Power Ice, would have made things a lot different, because I could have gone for one there. Uh, let's go for the Giga Terrain, it does a little bit of damage, I get some back. And now I'm like, you know, maybe he's maybe he'll miss. Maybe he'll miss a Draco Meter, and he misses the first one, which is fantastic. I always assume Latios is our scarf at this point in my life. Smudge Bomb doesn't take him out, Draco Meter are going to come through. That is going to be the end of my Venusaur, and my chances are now fleeting away, like the dinosaurs themselves being frozen in the Ice Age. Uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm, sl I'm slowing down here, momentum is being slow, and I go into Greninja, this fine, he's a frog with a long ass tongue, I go for U-turn to, he's gonna get switch advantage, but uh, I, I just kinda had to go for U-turn, in case he just, for some reason, wanted to save Melodic, and then opted to go into, or save Latios, and opted to go into Melodic, I was like, whatever. So, I go to my own score, and uh, he's actually gonna follow suit and go into Melodic, I'm like, if I can get a Toxic off, start getting some damage down, I got a shot at winning this, uh, then I miss, so that's fine. Going for the Ice Beam, living at 5 HP. Uh, I go for a Toxic now, which is okay, uh, after this first time, and uh, he just goes for a Skull, and that's why that happens. I, did, I died with Skull, and there's nothing else I can do about it. So, I have now just Greninja left. And, uh, he, can he make a run at this? Can he make a run at this? I got Dark Pulse. Let's see what happens. I go for a Dark Pulse here as he goes into his, uh, his Gliscor. No, honestly, I, th I honestly thought, I, I just like, he's gonna go into my Lodic at any given point during this. He's gonna go into my Lodic at any given point during this. I, I, I just keep going for Dark Pulse and I think maybe I'm gonna flinch, if anything. Uh, and that's actually what I was hoping for here. I was hoping to flinch him because I wanted to see if I could, you know, flinch him and then go, and then kill him with a Surf or an Ice Beam or just keep flinching him or something, but the Assault Vest is too powerful. I go down, that's the battle that we have against uh, against John. so unfortunately that happens. But, if you are new around here and you want to see what I've been up to on the channel, to the left is the previous video I did, Mega Swampert uh, Pokemon Showdown stuff, and to the right is be a random video of mine, or it could be somebody else's, who knows, but click on those if you get whatever, if you get excited for those, you want to do those. Either way, that's the video, right? Comment, so I'll see you guys next time. Peace.